I guess he wants to make the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fabiola. Y'all can all come and sway. I know it's been a long time again. I'm so unfaithful to YouTube. And he knows it. Well, anyways, I am a mommy now. Last time I was on here, I was pregnant. And now my baby boy is about to be five months old in a couple of days. He is a big boy. I will be sharing some video clips and some pictures so you guys can all see his progress in five months. But as of now, I know I've been gone for a while. I've been having to do with a lot of things. Probably some of you guys, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys know what I've been going through. But it's no secret that I am a single mom and I am totally fine with that. It was not in my plans, but it's okay. And I wanted to come back to YouTube, but I didn't know what topic because there's just so much to fill you guys in on, like bariatric, uh, my pregnancy, and being a sleep patient, and just a bunch of things that I would want to share with you guys that have impacted me and that can help somebody else out there with whatever they're going through. Um, but my most requested video was on labor and delivery. Wow, he's doing really good. He's just listening. His inch is muscle. Where do I start? I really don't know. I actually wrote them, I had to write it down because. Okay, I had to write it down because they were just like, I have a, if y'all don't know, if you guys don't know, I have a really bad memory. So I have to write everything down or else I'll forget details and then I'll go back in what I'm editing and I'll be like, damn it, I should have said something like this. Anyway, so if you if you see me looking down at my, I have notes here because I don't want to forget anything. I don't want to leave anything out. So the night before I went into labor, well actually, Okay, so my due date was March 10, and he was born March 6. So let's start with that. The night before, I think I was at my mom's house, and I was going home, and where I used to live, there was actually like a, like a little small home gym that was always open, like 24 hours. And I went in there on this like walking machine. Um, I went in there for like 10 minutes. I'll show you guys a clip so you guys know I am not lying. Most of my pregnancy, I was pretty active to the end. It feels it's so draining to carry a belly there, walking all the time with extra weight. Anyway, so I went into the gym and I did like five, ten, no, like ten, like ten minutes of walking on that thing. And then I went home. I could have done more, but I was really sleepy more than anything. I was really sleepy towards the end of my pregnancy. I couldn't really sleep at night because the weight. Um, I don't know, I feel like he was preparing me for the sleepless nights. 3.30 in the morning, I felt something wet. Okay, at that time, I was with his father, so I said, hey, it's time. I, I was just like, oh, like, what's next? Am I gonna go into, am I in, like, active labor already? Like, I didn't have many pains. I had cramps here and there, but no severe pain yet so I was kind of worried like are they gonna come right away I didn't know what to expect so I called the advice nurse and they said okay well make sure it's your water what do you mean I know it's my water it's not anything else my I'm like literally leaking it's going down my legs what do I do so she said okay so first of all take a shower wait an hour eat something because when you come in here we don't feed we don't feed you so after you you know deliver so i said okay took a shower i was still leaking the water was still rupturing and then we go to denny's same thing we actually had to leave denny's because i was still leaking and um tmi but i did i did wear a pad but it was just soaked we got to the hospital at 5.30, I heard in Kaiser. 
in our hospital. In the hospital for my house was at that time was 25 minutes. It wasn't much traffic. It was at five in the morning, so it was pretty fine. We got there. They checked me and they said, "Yep, it's your water." Your and uh, within an hour. Wait, now that I remember when I got there, I had a really rude nurse. I did not like her. I was about to switch her like that. I did not want no negative vibes around me. I just wanted to be in peace. So I didn't like the way that she was attending me. But luckily, they switched me rooms and I got a new nurse. So that was relieving. And um, about 6.30... I remember his father went into the restroom and I was there just, you know, relaxing. I was still not having a lot of pain. And then I heard like a pop. I don't know what that pop was, but I just like, I moved a little bit in the bed and I heard a pop and that's when I know it was an like active, active labor. It hurt so bad. I had to get up off my bed. I had to call the nurse. I said, hey, you know what? I, said, I heard something pop. Can you check? Make sure everything's okay. I was, I called his father at the bathroom. I was, you know what? Something's going on. Something just popped and it, it's starting to hurt really bad. What's going on? Nurse said, you're fine. Your contractions are just coming along. Everything's normal. I started walking around. I asked for a heat pack. It started escalating. The contractions started coming along quicker and quicker and quicker. And I then I called my mother and said, hey, you know what? Hurry up, get here. I was actually afraid. Give me a second. I was, I was actually afraid. I was actually afraid that my mom was not gonna get to the hospital on time because I wanted her in the room. Yeah, yeah, here, I was actually afraid that my mom wasn't gonna be in the delivery room because these contractions were coming along quick and I was afraid I wanted my mom to be there. So my mom, my mom got there. What up, Papa? Okay, um, give me a second. I got to get him out. Hey. Hey. Say hey. Ooh. Say hey. All right. So he's right here. Can y'all see? All right. Well, anyways. Um, so... What was I saying again? Okay, so my mom finally made it to the hospital and she was trying to she was trying to just like just be there and hold my hand and like you know trying to keep me calm doing this doing that and I just did not want anybody to touch me at all. I just wanted them to be there. The pain was so 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 severe. I don't think anybody knows what kind of pain that it, it is that we go through until you had a baby so pain was bad I still had not got the epidural and I was just so ready for the baby to be out I was just so ready for him to be out the pain was bad and I wanted to get the epidural already but I kind of wanted to wait a little bit and I, there was just a point where I was just like I can't take this anymore so they checked me and I was already eight centimeters when I got my epidural, which was good. I waited till I was eight centimeters to get it. I thought it, I thought it, I thought it was like five centimeters, but nope, that's how quick it escalated. That's how quick I was dilating. I got to eight centimeters and I got the epidural. I don't remember what time I got it, but they checked me at noon at 12 and i was i was already nine no i was already fully dilated at 12. so they had the doctor come in at 12 10 12 12 10 12 15 after they checked me at noon they started having me push and he was born at 12 41. he weighed seven pounds and seven ounces and he measured at 19 and a half inches as soon as i delivered we got a little fever 
and um, but that quickly went away they checked him out he was perfectly healthy nothing wrong and he was fine something that i was concerned about during my pregnancy and after that i delivered was him having hearing loss because i do i don't hear at all from one side from the left side from my left ear and then i'll explain that in another video but i was afraid that he was gonna be born without hearing loss but thank god he is perfectly fine he can see well he can hear well his name is santino nash garcia juarez i chose santino his father chose nash and of course our last name and of course our last name garcia juarez would i do this again you know right away i said heck no heck no it's so painful yes it is very painful uh, but it's all worth it i love my son to the fullest it's the most rewarding love blessing anybody can have it's i've waited so long for to have a little blessing like this and you know what i love him so much i try to be the best mom that i can be for him i love him so much i actually cried the other day because i missed him i left him for a little while and i missed him so much and that comes the feeling of being a mom right away i was like oh my gosh i am a mom i really am a mom i at some point in my life i didn't think it was going to be possible but with i'm a firm believer of god i believe in god and i know that with god everything is possible so here he is my big boy here is my big boy he's almost five months he's super heavy say hi So here is my big boy at almost five months. Say hi, my loves. Hey, hey, over there, look. Look over there. Say hello. Yeah, so he's a big boy. As soon as he was born, we tried latching him on and he he didn't have trouble with it. He caught on, He after a few tries, he did well but I had to add formula in because I wasn't producing enough milk and um, he wasn't gaining any weight. So I had to get him on some formula. At the moment, I'm still feeding him with formula. I do breastfeed a little too. Um, what? You wanna say hi again? Hello. Labor and delivery is one thing and after delivering, is another thing your body changes a whole lot it literally turns from a senorita body to a senora body you just don't know what to expect the human let me just say though the human body is amazing it is amazing especially for a woman me and Santino are about to get ready to leave because he is gonna get some shots today he's gonna get some shots today um so we'll see how that goes for everybody that suggested labor and delivery here it is i hope you guys enjoyed it if i missed something comment um below and um yeah this little guy wants to go he wants to go already so um comment what what should be my next topic you can see anybody that doesn't follow me on my social media i will post down below um, where to follow and he has a little Instagram for himself. He's actually been doing a lot this summer He's been actually doing a lot this spring and summer. He's been To Mexico twice. He's been to his first baseball game He's been doing a lot of things for a little baby if you haven't yet subscribed also he and this little fuzzy guy are out signing out we're signing out. Say bye. Say bye. He wants to dance. Say bye, everybody. We're going bye-bye.